It's a wild times. Hey, buddy. Episode number 116. Had to look at Kyle to get the right number there. Welcome back, everybody. We are in our beautiful studio of Peter's living room. Um, yeah. I am your host, Forrest Galante. The broologist joining me is the producer. Hello. And on the far left, we have Fat Tire's new Michelin Man spokesperson. Did you call me Michelin Man because I'm fat? No, because they're all white. Uh, yeah. I don't believe you. It's okay, because I have fat. the roles. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on, Peter? How are you? What's up? I, I like figured this I, look. I figured I would dress in uh, fat tire attire because they sent it to us, and they're a great sponsor of the podcast. And I'm drinking their beer at hey, cheers to 10 a.m. So I know it is early for beer. This is the fun part about doing them in person: is the drinking cheers. of the beer. But, but I do like what you did, and they did send us a very nice swag box. Like we have some yeah. really cool. I'm not wearing any of it, but we do have some very cool fat and it's, tire. And beer. it's all carbon neutral. So the gear, the clothing, yeah, everything. No, I, I, I don't know I that that's true. <laughs> I think the beer is. I'm okay. With I know it, the though. beer is. I'm okay with. It. Are you drunk? No, I was. I was just trying to plug our sponsor. Well, we're gonna fix that <laughs> by the end of this. Podcast. Yes, we are. <laughs> Kyle's sitting over there with his head in his hands. <laughs> um, I like that corduroy hat though. Yeah, it's real nice. Uh, I look a little. I don't know. With the hair, it looks like I have a mullet. You it's should do a weird. ponytail. Yeah, I, I, I really think you should embrace the sort of sea captain thing you got All right, going I'm going to do the sea captain thing because wow, I Wow, he had a hair tie ready to go. Of course I have a hair tie. Look at this. You think I can just... I can't even eat if I don't have a hair tie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, well it's... Uh, we're back. This is one about animals. What are you... What's going on with you? What's going on what's with me? What's the new adventure? I'm, uh, I'm going to Hawaii on Monday. Hawaii. Are you ever in town ever? Nope. What's going on in Hawaii? Hawaii. I, uh, it'll be the first time I've been to Hawaii in my adult life. Oh, wow. Last oh, really? I was All there, right. I was 18 years old. Okay, so you're entitled to this trip. That's why. Is yeah. it a vacation? Everyone gets one no, Hawaii it's not. trip. Um, I, so I have, a, I have a, a deal with Costa sunglasses, ah. which are, you know, like really good polarized sunglasses. And uh, after three years of doing stuff with them, they were finally like, hey, can you actually do something for us? And I was like, yes, of course. What uh-huh. would you like? So they're filming a commercial in Hawaii, in Oahu, where I've okay. never been. Wow, and that's so, great. Free trip? Yeah. So oh they're fly, flying me out to Oahu. We're filming uh, adventure stuff for a day, and I fly back the next day. So what, what a life what kind of you adventures are you doing? Uh, they're still lining it up. We're either doing some overlanding that I'm going to guide, like off-roading, or we're okay. going to get a helicopter and like jump out of a helicopter and do a <laughs> waterfall. I'm not sure which one yet. Sounds awful. I one mean, sounds much easier than the other. Yes, definitely. And I'm <laughs> yeah. pushing hard for the helicopter. For the other, of course. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that'll be cool. I'm looking forward to it. What about you guys? What's, what's going on? Patrick? I'm just in fucking deep pest control mode, man. Yeah. yeah after just the house de- flooded? or Yeah, just dealing with a lot of Argentinian ants. Dude. A lot of gopher action. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's I'm deep into it right now. Honestly, like there's always problems and and uh, like unknown expenses when you move. But you've had an it's earthworm a invasion, a flood into the garage, yep, and right. then a burst pipe. That is correct. Underneath <laughs> the fucking the uh, the house. Yeah. So I mean, it's like, all, are, are you ready to kill? Do yourself? you regret it? No. <laughs> do you no, regret? No, no. The I mean, this shit's good. This, these things happen. Yeah, and they do. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna move through it. It's hey, all good. I know how to cheer you up. What's that? I brought some loquats from my home tree. I have been eyeing those. Oh. Would you look there, loquat? Peter mm. loquat. Have you had a loquat before? Are, they, Peter? are we sponsored by loquats too? We are. Kyle, would you care for a loquat? Oh man, it's got it all over me. Look at that. Oh wow. Yeah, it's a it's just a delightful. Yeah, I gotta describe it. If you've never had a loquat, we did this before. I think it was on a bonus, though. If you've never had a loquat, describe it for the viewers. Describe it. It's like a juicy. Yeah, it's a cross between a peach and a piece of citrus. Yeah, it's very very accurate. You got it all over me now. I despise. It's 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 absolutely fantastic. I despise peaches. Did you know that? What? Why? Eh, I'm not a huge peach guy. The flavor of a peach, delightful. Delicious. Yeah. I could have it as a milkshake. I could have it in a pie. I can have it fresh. <laughs> Peach milkshake. Interesting. Yeah, it's the thing they did at uh, what's the chicken place everybody loves? Chick Fil A. They did a peach milkshake. Yeah, that actually deal. sounds real nice. But the skin. Yeah, I want that. If that peach velvet touches my skin, <laughs> I literally it's it's the most I want to punch somebody. So it's like a nails on a chalkboard for you. <laughs> oh, it's like ten times worse. There's That's nothing. Interesting. It, 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 it doesn't it bother is, me. 
it is the the thing I hate the most. Is that feel? Oh. All like right, I'm top, making making yeah. me actually feel a little bit queasy right now. Quick, quick uh, top three in DFL nails on a chalkboard things. Mm, that's a good one. All right, well Just my so my number one hands down is the peach skin. It's peach skin, and then also the uh, what do you call that? Vel not velvet. There's uh, another velcro. No, no, no. It's like velvet. It's like one of those Corduroy? touch things. <sighs> Can't think of it. Doesn't Silk? matter. Uh, I'll go. Silk. I'll go. Okay. If he doesn't like silk, dude, that's he's a monster. No, I love he's silk. A creep. <laughs> All right, my number one. These are the things that we hate the most, correct? Yeah, yeah, like nails on a chalkboard. Okay, shit. number three for me is a car seatbelt beeping. That's bad. That's a good one. Driving it's, and the, and the and the passenger has no idea that it's taking place. It's, it's psychologically you're like, created to annoy. And and, I, yeah. and while that's happening, I'm like, I'm gonna push this person out of my car. And usually they're <laughs> yeah. like in conversation, and you're like, I don't care, stop talking. Like yeah, I'm gonna yeah, yeah, push yeah. you out of the car. It's, it's very irritating. That's number three. And now they get louder and louder and louder. Talking over it. Yeah. Yeah. No, number two, very controversial. Most people love it. Yeah, look at me funny because it is <laughs> white noise. What? I hate white noise. Dude, get out of my house I hate now. Yeah. I hate fans. I, I, hate, I hate white what noise machines. You hate? Dude, I, hate I got white two noise. box fans in my office right now. Just I'm, for the I'm white not kidding. Noise, right? I need you to go in there and we're going to do some desensitization. Yeah, if I take a road trip, I hate it. If, I, if there's too much luggage and I can't fit a box fan <laughs> in the car, I'll cancel the trip. <laughs> hate it. Yeah. And then if the lighting in the car yeah, yeah, is one be. iota of an overhead. If there's an overhead. air conditioner on in my room, I hear it 15 times in a night. That's wild. Just I love that. It's freakish. By the way, we took a poll about Patrick's light uh, in the last podcast. Oh, what did, oh we, yeah. what did we find out? It was about 60-40 okay. in it, favor of the overhead. In favor, in favor of the overhead. So they like the fluorescent lighting. <laughs> but what's well, crazy is 40% like the... The orange, the, the yeah, yellow, nice, pea nice, green. nice warm light. Oh, I'm getting it sorted. I'm getting it sorted. No, no, you're, What's you're working on it. Uh, it's it's that peach fuzz. Peach fuzz in peach your mouth. Peach fuzz on the mouth. I, it literally, I have a violent reaction. Like I, I want to yeah. physically hurt something. If I if I, I bite that, it's like I'm just want to punch what, somebody. What 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 sound or noise makes you just really really elated and happy? What's your top mm, baby's crying? <laughs> Maybe screaming. That's a good one, though. Oh, okay, then, yeah, so then the number one thing that's the opposite of all of that would be, what's really, bird sounds. Just bird songs. Yeah, bird sounds are nice. Nice okay. bird song in the garden. Yep, all I right. like that. I like that. All right. Uh, I'll go very quickly. Most of mine are related to flying. <laughs> They're number, all related number to Number three, the nails on a chalkboard makes me sick, makes me want to cry. <laughs> Rushing to the airport. You <laughs> Rushing to the rushing, rushing to, the to make a flight is he just hates that so I'm not much. going. Okay. I will not go. He will go to an airport five hours before a domestic sure, flight. Why not? It sounds great. <laughs> they usually have like a Chili's. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, number two is someone, someone farting on a plane. It, it oh, I fills me with my beer up for it, a second. <laughs> it fills me with a rate. I can't understand why you think it's okay to impart. Right. This smell on everybody. Oh my God. Everybody. Hold it in. Get up. Go to the bathroom. It's something. mental. It's like it's such a flagrant, <laughs> fragrant way <laughs> of just like, fucking yeah, terrible. being like, I don't care about society. I do <laughs> not care about other humans. I bring fart spray on a plane just to clear out. Just, the, just, the, you're the, just the guy with the bottle of glaze. <laughs> clear out Excuse the row. Me. I spray the seats <laughs> next to me. <laughs> and then number one is the smell of nail polish remover. You like it or I you like hate it. it? No, no. That's my number one fucking worst thing. Oh, you ah. hate it. Oh, I like it. Weird. The Acetone? smell of nail polish. Oh, yeah. I love it. I, yeah. I drink. I used to drink it. Okay, that adds up. That's, uh, that makes no, a ton but of I sense. Peter, I like the smell as well. And then my top joy, my like yeah. DFL, the thing I just love. It's the opposite. Yeah. Uh -huh. You pop the top off. There's a little metal thing. You got to go. Oh, psh, can of tennis balls. Fresh can of tennis balls. Yeah. Huff that in. <laughs> oh yeah. They do, do not let nice. the air get a hold of it. You oh. got to sniff it in with you one nostril. It's like as much as you can put in your system. Dude, what I might start doing is just pop the top a little, stick a straw in. Just, just mainline it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's smart. Yeah, and that's nostril. Really it. smart. Yeah. It's delightful. <laughs> Peter, what do you got? What All do you right, got? I, I'll just go quick. Uh, number one is like uh, on a vent when you when you go. Brr, brr, like my kid does it all the time. You hate that? Yeah, it's very, very, uh, Interesting. very irritating. Very bizarre. <laughs> Number two is uh, <laughs> whenever I have to host this podcast at my house because <laughs> there's a lot of setup. There's a lot involved. of judging of me happening, and you know I work with assholes. Number <laughs> yeah, one, this and this true. is the only reason I wanted to do the top top three DFL is because I wanted to mention that uh, when you rub the the ceiling of a car. 
dude. The 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 like the oh the, that the, texture that, that noise. I dude. Could see it's that. just like this Ugh. noise. No, it's That's different on a car. It's like more foamy. These are so specific. I know. It's yeah. weird. That's why yeah. I wanted to hear your guys's. And my favorite thing in the world uh, is when you guys leave. That's nice. fair. That By the way, up. I just yep. saw, so this is the universal way of calling in a house cat, right? Of course. You get a little scratch on the couch. <laughs> yeah. A house cat will come from two doors down. Yep. <laughs> and I was just thinking, like, I've never seen a mountain lion in the wild. I think sure I'm going to hike up. Felt. I'm going to hike up into the <laughs> mountains behind my house, the Santa Monica Mountains. Just bring a couch cushion. A, you, a pillow. You might yeah. have a problem, yeah. though. But let me tell you, because really if you idea. do that in front of my dog, Charlie, n- I'm not even joking. He will attack your hand viciously Everything and try to bite you, you hard. Everything you do in front of Charlie, that, he will attack That's true. You. He's an attacker. Especially this. Yeah. Um, all right. I got a story for you guys you. before I forget. And then we'll get on to some wildlife stuff, because this is essentially a wildlife well, I think we podcast. included the cat thing. I think yeah, that's we've good talked for about two species of, of cat. Yeah, we've mentioned cat <laughs> twice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and dog. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> When we went to South Africa to film our newest shark show, we had basically a down day between the first location and second location. And the crew that went with me for the first half of the shoot was just me, Mitch, and JQ, just three of us, nobody okay. else. All right. A super small crew to go and knock out one thing if we were to succeed. And if we didn't, it wouldn't make the show. So you'll find out whether or not that happened. Okay. In between the two, Kyle, look this up. It's kind of fun. We went to a place that I went to as a kid which is sort of like, I realize now, much more so for adults than children, called Sun City in South Africa. Never mm-hmm. heard of it. Have you ever seen the movie Blended? Yes. It's that place. Really? Oh, really? That yeah. resort? That resort. It's a casino resort. It's like very in the... It's like a, Di- a South African Disneyland, like with the animals and things. It's this. Oh, okay. That looks okay? awfully fun. It's, it's yeah, very fun. Funny. So we spent one night there in between locations because it was perfectly in route and we we're like i was like screw it let's go there's only three of us yeah. everything in south africa cost 85 cents so it was like <laughs> it was literally like 100 bucks per person per room it was nothing okay. to go there yeah yeah and so we're there and we have one night off one night with nothing to do and there's a casino so naturally we go to the we go to a nice steak dinner okay. and then we go to the casino we rock mm-hmm. up at the casino it's me mitch and jq so there's three of us plus our two fixers five people casino is like pretty busy and I, I walk up to the pit boss. I'm like, hey, if we take up a whole blackjack table, you open a new blackjack table. They're like, yeah, sure, no problem. Okay. And uh, the, the hands were a dollar a hand because of the convert, because of the currency rate. Yeah. So we each bought in like 50 bucks, which was like a mountain of money in South Africa. <laughs> sure, yeah. yeah. And we just were having a blast. The whole casino is like quiet and polite and South African. Mm-hmm. And we are just have we're just having so much fun betting ten dollar hands, you know, which is nothing, but right. in Vegas they don't even exist, right? Right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> betting ten dollar hands and winning mountains of coins and having so much fun. And uh, these guys come over, there's two young guys, like probably in their mid-20s, and uh, they just sort of sit down at our table and we look over and we're like, yeah, whatever. And I'm in the middle. And the one guy sits down next to Mitch, and they're just watching, they're socializing, being very polite. They start betting. Six, seven rounds in, the guy leans over to Mitch and goes, has anybody ever told you your buddy looks a lot like Forrest Galante? Oh, really? <laughs> and uh, he's like... <coughs> Name dropping huh, on no, the I've podcast. i never heard that. Yeah. And uh, so we keep playing, we keep playing. And then I said something, and the guy stands up and goes, I knew it! It is Forrest Galante! And uh, the reason... <laughs> is he I t- a South African guy? South African guy. Okay. The reason I tell you this, him and his buddy were huge fans, had never seen my show. Entirely podcast of fans. This podcast? Oh. Entirely Wild Times fans. They're big never fans seen of a show. Kyle and Peter. Yeah, they were the, the, all okay. podcast The guys. podcast is already bigger than any show you've ever been on. TV is going down, man. It's <laughs> I don't know what all TV about is. YouTube. Yeah. yeah. I, TV, exactly. Kids under 30. Our kids like, won't what even is know what TV Black is. Black box that people have hanging yeah, on yeah. the wall. Why not just watch it on your phone? That's fun. No, that's um, that's incredible, though, man. So they they so the, what I love about people who know the podcast is that they always have inside like jokes and information. Yes. Yeah. yes. Like they know us yes. more intimately than our wives know 100%, us. hundred percent. It's yes. crazy. Um, but yeah, anyway, so we ended up having super fun. They hung out for like three more hours. We betted, we bought them hands because they, they came in with like 10 bucks each and lost it very quickly yeah. and yeah. hung out all evening. And they were two brosners from South Africa. Hey guys, if you're enjoying, whoops, one more time. Guys, if you like The Wild Times, check us out on Patreon. We put out four extra podcasts per month. That's one commute a week that you're just going to be laughing and learning the whole time in the car. <laughs> hey, let me do, do something else. This is the late night 
content, stuff that we, we can't show on, on YouTube because they'll kick us off YouTube. It's the Cinemax of podcasts. <laughs> Uncensored, raw dog. It's the Cinemax of podcasts. Check it out. Link right here. Amazing. Yeah. Dude, I, that's great. I have a, just a quick casino story because I was Please. just in Vegas. <laughs> and uh, so me and my buddy just like, we're like, all right, let's just pop into this casino for a half hour. It was like five minutes from the Airbnb we we're staying at. I was like, I'm not really going to gamble. I had like 20 bucks. So like I'll throw it in a slot machine. Yep. This guy comes up to me and he's like, pretty degenerate creep, like maybe mid fifties. And nice. he's like, he's like, Hey, he starts into some spiel about how he had been playing a machine and it's built up and the bonus is about to hit. And I should yeah, just go, okay. I, I come over and play that machine. And I, I, yeah. he's in the middle of his thing. I just, I just don't want him near me. He's breathing on me. Right. Yeah. And so I just turn and look, I just go get the fuck away from me. <laughs> yeah. And he just kind of, okay. And he just walks away. Yeah. Right. And I see him go over to my buddy and like, they're engaging in this conversation same conversation. Yeah, exact same conversation. Same He's like two fucking rows over. And then I hear the guy say to my friend, he goes, well, fuck you, man, to my friend. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And I'm like, what the fuck did he say? Because I right. was really... You were really... <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I didn't want the guy breathing yeah, on yeah, me. Yeah, I got you. And so, uh, uh, <laughs> so I go over to my buddy. I'm like, what did you say to piss him off? He's like, oh, he had this story about going to play some progressive thing that's about to hit. And I was just like, no, I'm not. I'm just... I want to stay at this machine. That's, that's it. it? Yeah. And the guy ripped on him. Yeah. Because he wasn't mean enough. What a yeah. nut. Was tweaker. this guy, was he drunk or? Tweaker. Yeah, tweaker. No, yeah. I'm not sure, but I think I just, it was one of those things where, like, you know, the niceness, was, he was going to pounce on that. Yep. Versus yep. being just like, get the fuck well, away yeah, from so me. In other words, if you're aggressive to him, he backs down. But yeah. If not, he's going to be the, the like, well, yeah. well right. So because, this, yeah. Yeah. So this brings me to a little, little new game I want to play. Oh, okay. wow. It's Didn't called see that coming. The get the fuck away from me game. Oh, Peter's with gonna love this. Wildlife biologist Forrest Galante. <laughs> I want you to tell me the three species of wildlife that you may encounter in North America. Yeah. Where you're better off pulling the get the fuck away from me than the slow, non-aggressive, avoid gotcha. eye contact. So the be aggressive as opposed to, to right. retreat. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Got it. That's a good one. That's yeah. a very good one. Okay. Here we go. Um, Putting you on the spot here. You are, and I like it. So coming okay. in at number one, mm -hmm. tiger sharks. Got it. Okay. So if you're in the water, you're in the Caribbean, let's say we're in Florida, there's tiger sharks all in the Gulf and everything yeah, else, yeah. right? If you see a shark, tiger shark in specific, but this really applies to most shark species, and you go, whoa, if you act like prey, they're going to treat you like prey. Yeah. Okay? So if you start backpedaling, splashing, you know, even just slinking, that's a sign that you're... A prey animal. Well, basically yep. like this guy at the casino did. Basically, I think yeah, that's yeah, where that's this comes what, that's from. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Now, if you see that shark and he's, even if he's advancing towards you pretty aggressively and you put your head down and swim right at him, maintain eye contact and go bring it on, <laughs> that shark is not going to engage with you. It's going to turn and pull out yep. because they are not animals that are willing to t sustain damage in order for food. Got it. So... If you go fuck off in your body language and the way that you present yourself, those sharks are going to turn and take off. Whereas if you go, whoa, I'm scared or yeah, I'm going to yeah, retreat, yeah. You're, in, you're in for some trouble. Definitely easier said than done. Much. Yeah. It, it takes a big <laughs> switch in your brain to go. And it's, it's even happened to me. I showed that thing where we were subwinging. Yeah, yeah. And I, I started panicking. I think that was on a, was that on a bonus? Uh, no. Oh, yeah. 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 What kind of shark was that? Bonus pod. The kind of that was a tiger that shark. That was a tiger shark. But I saw it, and for those that don't know what we're talking about, check it out on the Patreon. I showed an ex exclusive clip from when a tiger shark chased me uh, recently <laughs> in Australia. So nonchalantly dropped, but it is insane. Yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. I panicked there for 10 seconds and started doing the, like, fuck, 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 you know? Right. And then I had to make that switch in my brain go, yeah, yeah, yeah. hold on, that's the wrong way to handle this. Sure. Yeah. So that's number one. Okay. Number two, a good fuck off animal, mountain lion. I was I was hoping you'd go there. Yeah, yeah, it's a mountain yeah. lion for sure. Okay. Super common around these parts. It's sort of the same exact thing I just said with the tiger shark, right? Like if you are running on a trail 
it's looking at you licking its lips like, oh, here goes something that's running by. But if you see a cat and you get aggra- and loud, in this mm. case, you have to be loud and assertive and aggressive. Sort of like that kid was, remember? Who yeah, we had, had a podcast. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and he threw the rocks at it and yeah. stuff. Like he kept retreating, but he, this guy, you know, he's like being pretty aggressive. He's throwing rocks. He's coming towards it. Now, he did the right thing because he didn't actually engage. You know, he didn't run at it. But he right. kept eye contact. He was loud. He was throwing rocks. I think he literally told it to fuck off a whole lot. Yeah. 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 And uh, and that resulted in nothing going wrong. But so, by the yeah. way, like this video, the, the, the cat is... He's not backing down, but he's wary. Well, the problem... I remember here, the problem was that every time the kid Turn. crouched down to mm-hmm. get a rock, it advanced because right. he was oh, getting smaller. Right. But I've seen videos... There's a, a good one online where a guy comes across a mountain line on a trail... And the guy's obviously scared and he he's doing the right thing and maintaining eye contact. Yeah. But he's talking like this. He's going, he's being very nice and sweet mm, to it. Yeah. And he's like, just stay there, little mountain lion. Just stay there. Yeah. And talking in it. this kind of high voice. Like, not it. And he's scared. And I, it's like, you, you really need, you should scream obscenities at exactly. it. Exactly. And the you angriest really voice, you, yep. right, it's going to read that. Yep. My, my, I mean, you look at any cat, they, they're they very attuned to your tone of voice. Totally. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Totally. Yep. So stay there, little mountain lion's not as good as get the fuck away from me. Being assertive. Yeah, and if he had <laughs> like turned and run in that situation, by the way, it would have pounced him. No yeah, question. That's no what, question. Like, could you, taken his could back. you fend off a mountain lion? Not you, but like could someone fend not off you, a mountain lion? Not you, but someone who's physical. Yeah. <laughs> could they fend off a mountain lion if it straight up attacked? No. No. no, really. People, it's funny because people will argue this guaranteed in the comments. Yeah. And there have been one or two instances. I think there was a guy who like choked out a mountain lion or something. There like was that. something like that. Yeah. Kyle will find I out. think he it was did. attacking his buddy. Yeah. And he like came up and he choked it out. Or I think it was a cub too. It was like a young mountain lion. Mm. Whatever. People will argue this. The short answer is no. Right. There's not Why? a single person. I don't care how trained you are in MMA or whatever <laughs> the fuck people are going to say in the comments that yeah. can beat up, beat up a mountain lion by themselves. Right. I almost said beat off again like the last <laughs> well, time. Oh, God, yeah. 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 It says it was uh, less than a year old, 80 pounds. Yeah, an eighty-pound juvenile one that a guy. Yeah, I think out. if you if you had your your knife, you know, you had a buck knife a or, weapon, or a you know your yeah. frontiersman knife on your yeah. belt, and it was on you. I think you if you got one stab yeah, in, you're, put it in the neck, anything. How big? How big uh, is an adult mountain lion? Wait, two hundred ish pounds. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's yeah. that is big. It's a big boy. cat. Yeah, you're not winning. Maybe no. it's one sixty. And do they whatever. go right for like the neck and the jugular? Oh, yeah, they know what they're Dude, doing. See, that's oh, right it's, the it's, the, it's the agility and the athleticism. Like, think of your house cat and what it can do to get you know on a <laughs> roof or whatever. <laughs> yeah, you know, and yeah. the size of it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, by the way, for anybody listening to this, try and bathe your cat. <laughs> and then no, tell thanks. me you can beat up a mountain lion. <laughs> Just bathe your cat. That's it. That's right. all you have to do. Barehanded, go bathe your cat. Yeah. Barehanded. Yeah. No then shit. tell me Use you a can finger. beat up a mountain lion. Yeah, it's, a, yeah. it's a really good point. <laughs> you could not bathe a cat with no shirt on no. and come away with any less than like 15 bloody scratches. Correct. Yeah. And that's yeah. your house cat that loves you. Yeah. By the way. No shit. Yeah. Well, let us know in the comments if you can beat a mountain lion's ass. Oh, they will, because there we'll have a lot of people who are like I could beat up a mountain lion. <laughs> but but it's a great shit. analogy. You're right. Like the athleticism that these cats have, you don't even think about that because you're looking at it. You're looking at the teeth and the claws, right. and, and it's got these big muscles yeah. and shit. Yeah. But you know, imagine just boxing someone, whether you think you're a tough dude or not. Right. Who's just, you know, I'm in forty. Right. A twenty year old who's incredibly athletic right. that sure. maybe knows less about boxing is still going to kick the shit out Whoop of me. You. Yeah. Yeah. You. Yeah. 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 I mean, you've sold me. I wouldn't, I won't fight one. I promise. Don't fight one. All <laughs> right. So we got tiger shark aggressive. Yes. You got to be aggressive with it. Mountain yeah. lion. What else? Good one. I'm going to say the next one is one that flies under the radar a lot. People don't think of this wild boar. Okay. Wild boar. That's another animal that when they do attack, they attack like in an, in a way that's instinctual. Now, keep in mind, a wild boar is a prey animal. It's not at the top of the food chain. Right. So if you rush at a boar, it's going to back down. Whereas 99% of the time, people that get mauled by a boar or whatever, they're running away from it. Right. They, right. And that's because instantly that boar feels as though, yeah, so look at the scenario, right? These boar, well, this is all different situations, but these, this boar is coming at these people and they're basically rushing away. The best thing you can do with that boar is try and grab onto the front of it, grab onto the tusks, meet it head on. 
Wow, don't really? run away from it. It's going to gore you. It's going to give you problems. Meet it head the on. Boar's going to gore, dude. And That's they right. are, they are hefty. Yeah, like that. You're fucked if a wild boar is charging you. Yeah, it's not good. It's yeah. not good. But they are going to flee. They're not going to keep taking you on if you're if you're advancing. Like this is a perfect scenario. Like these. Well, that was a really big boar. But this guy. That's one of the biggest ones I've this, ever seen. This is a good scenario because the guy's hanging out in the tree. But really. You know, this is really more about the dogs attacking the boar. But regardless, meet the boar head on. Yeah, that's that. Those are the three. Those are the three. A I'm boar, up with. a tiger shark, and a mountain lion. You meet a you meet a bear head on, you lose. Now, who oh, wins right, in a fight fun. between the three of them? Who wins out of those three? That's a <laughs> the boar. Difficult. That, depends. On, I guess if it's on land or in the ocean. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. gonna say mountain lion wins that one. Yeah, sure. Yeah, they probably. Uh, well, there's no boars around here. What do mountain there's lions? Here's the thing: if you do think you can them? beat up a mountain mm-hmm. lion. What's that? If you think you can beat up a mountain lion, watch a video of a wild boar attacking a human Correct. and decide if you can also beat up the boar. <laughs> right. Because the mountain loses. lion will eat the shit out of that Correct. boar. Yeah. I, think, I think there's something about the being gored that is like <laughs> yeah. more scary, even though it's just because you you would only see the, the teeth and the claws of the mountain lion in a certain circumstance. You see like the, the you know, the, the, the hog or the boar's fucking gore. Thing. Well, let me tell you this. This is quite interesting. So when I Core went to thing. Samoa and played rugby in <laughs> Samoa a little bit, the way that the guys there hunt the boar is they go in with a big machete, a big knife, and they get the boar to attack them. And they do exactly what I said, where they meet them head on and then they cut their throat. Yikes. So they And it sounded pretty cool. It just wasn't something I wanted to do because I'm not sure. into the murdering of you know anything yeah. really. Right. But I remember I was over there and they were like, let's go for a hike. Let's go get a pig, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, they go in, they get the boar to attack them. And they shank it or they cut its throat as it as they as they meet it. But you turn Hate around that. and run away, and that's just your legs are gone. You know, yeah. it just sweeps you out. So good God, yeah, that's the way to do that. Now what's Delicious, now what's though. one where you where uh, you should run away? Uh, everything else. <laughs> um, no, there's certain things like you know, like uh, you should never run away. That doesn't like there's like no win scenario. You can creep away or, or you know hide or walk. Well, that's actually good advice. I didn't know that. I thought that there was somewhere you should just take off. It sort of just like Not depends really. where the switch gets turned, right? Yeah. Because like it's like with a rhino or something. It's like always stand your ground until. You're beyond that, in which <laughs> sure. case you just got to like panic and get <laughs> oh out of there. So God. it's just, it's really hard. It's like yeah. until you can read the body language, you don't really know. But a fucking rhino. You dude. know, like where should you turn and run away? A rattlesnake. You don't need to run. Sure. You can just step away. But like, don't go meet a rattlesnake head on because <laughs> it's just going to yeah. bite you. Yeah. You yeah. know, whereas if you just decide to back away as fast as you like, it's going to, it's going to show no interest. Yeah. But like even with a bear, it's like you have a 0% chance of outrunning or outmaneuvering right. it. Right. So even if it gets within a foot or two, like you're basically supposed to just stand there. Right. Play dead. Mm-hmm. Bears yeah. can even climb trees, can't they? They sure can. Sure can. Yep. That'll be a nightmare. Sure can. Yeah, bears are scary. Contrary to like the comments in our uh, in our March Madness bracket where people were like, I can't believe you picked the bear. Didn't the bear win in the end? Did the bear win? Uh, yeah, Brown, Brown Bear, Bear won, yeah. People were very upset. It's there was a <laughs> there was a healthy debate in the comments of people going back and forth between Brown Bear and Polar Bear. Right. Right. And some people were very angry that Polar Bear didn't win. And then there were other people who were posting argu- good arguments that a brown Absolutely. bear could take out a polar bear. Absolutely. So yeah, that's the good thing. Is it, it's a forum for debate. This is a lively conversation. Yeah. That, that last uh, March Madness podcast that we did was so there, I've never seen more controversy except for the short where Forrest had his shirt off. There was controversy over that? Yeah, I don't oh, know yeah. That. people are just like, where's a shirt? Put a shirt on. Oh, nice. I like that. It was That's just good. a short, you know, a short one. So it got sent out to like tens of, people, of million, million of people. Giggling over there. So obviously he read all the comments. There was something <laughs> funny. I gave up on comments many, many years ago. You, you popped into the last or into a recent pod that we were doing with no shirt on just from the get go. And um, I don't think we mentioned it. And I was talking to my wife about it later. And I was like, I think it's just weird now because he just was a guy with no shirt on. And we didn't even say like, hey, where's your shirt or anything? If it's hot out and I'm podcasting from home, I'm probably not wearing a shirt. I don't have AC so in my office. you pop your shirt like, off? Hey, and there's no network to give you notes. Like, hey, could we like <laughs> have Forrest wear a shirt? No, I think it's good. Nothing I think that Matt. causes All a right. lot of... Uh, should, we, uh, should we do some do a segment? I think we should do what's in the news. What's in the news? 
So this is interesting. There's a common parasite that's been killing sea otters off the coast of California. Mm, that's not yeah. good. No, I love sounds good. Bad. But fortunately, so far, it's only four sea otters that they've found. But what's interesting uh, is it is, I have to say it right, Toxoplasma gondii, which oh, is, yeah. it's a very common parasite. I think like one out of eight or one out of 10 humans in America have it. It's the one that your house cat carries. Yeah. 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 They tell pregnant women not to clean the litter box because oh, they can get the one. toxoplasmosis. Yeah. yeah. Which is, but it's pretty interesting that it's, you know, it makes me think of The Last of Us, which I don't know if you guys have you guys yeah, watched yeah, that yeah, at all. But I yeah, must. It's really, really good. Yeah. Watch The Last of Us. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's sort of what we're seeing, in other words, is that this common parasite is making an interspecies jump, right? Yeah. Going from mm. cats, cats to people, now people to sea otters, whether sea otters were resistant to it in the past or maybe they just hadn't been exposed or there wasn't enough density of it. I don't really know. But mm. it's uh, anytime you see a virus or a parasite jump to a new species. Right. It's it's reason for concern. And that's yeah. the foundation yeah. of The Last of Us, by the way. That's why I brought that up. Right. It's yeah. just sort of evidence that these little things that you can't see are fucking crafty. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're, we're always thinking, well, how that affects us. Right. Right. <laughs> of so course. It, we love sea otters and we don't want them to be dying from right. cat shit disease. Of course. But, <laughs> cat you shit. know, we're like, oh, shit. Well, does that mean like the sea otters have some weird thing that can like jump to us? So what the article said was that uh, the sea otters have been exposed to it, particularly with sea otters that live near shore, which is most sea otters, but near shore in runoff areas. And the toxoplasmosis okay. or the, what is it, gondi, yep. the eggs of that parasite are washing out with all the rains we've been having in California. Oh, interesting. And interesting. just, you know, it would have to be a perfect set of situations, but the sea otters are getting exposed to it. The problem is... If this parasite becomes rampant enough in the sea otter population that every time two sea otters are getting together, that somehow it's transferring, this mm. can have a major effect on you know all sea otters, basically. Right. Yeah. Which would be horrible because sea otters might be the cutest animal. Well, and I don't know if world. you know this, but and this is really this is really really significant. Sea otters almost got hunted to extinction, which almost completely collapsed California's offshore ecosystem. Really? Do you know about this? Mm -mm. No. Okay. This is a big, I got to paint a big picture for you here, but it's interesting. So Native Americans used to hunt sea otters, okay? And they kept them in a very nice population balance because they couldn't kill a lot of them because they didn't have the tools and technology. And sea otters eat sea urchins and other crustaceans. Well, those sea urchins and things eat the kelp, okay? Mm -hmm. So there was a nice balance, right? There weren't too many otters. There weren't too few otters, which controlled the sea urchin population, which controlled the kelp. Now, when, when Western settlers came to America, they were like, wow, it's really cold in San Francisco all the fucking time. <laughs> yeah. What's going to warm us up? Only the densest fur in the world, oh. sea otter pelts. So they went out, murdered all the sea otters they could get their hands fucking on. And I'll tell you where they found them, them again, which is right by me, which is really cool. And they thought that sea otters were basically extinct. Well, a few years later, after all the sea otters had been removed, what we saw was this massive spike in purple sea urchin. Mm -hmm. And as we had this massive spike in purple sea urchin, the sea urchin were eating... The kelp. The kelp, the kelp. yeah. And now, all of a sudden, the California kelp forest began to disappear. Well, if, those, if the kelp disappears, that's the foundation for our entire offshore ecosystem here in California. Right. That's where all the fish reproduce. That's where the white sea bass hang out. That's where everything happens. Mm. And so all these, you'd have a giant kelp bed like the La Jolla kelp beds. It was like, you know, five miles long would disappear in like three months. And that Yikes. was because there were no sea urchin left. Or sorry, because there were no, no sea urchin left urchins, to yeah. regulate the sea urchin population. Well, fortunately, and I don't know all the timelines, but fortunately, after many, many years of thinking sea otters were completely gone, you know, a protection was put in place. There was a law passed that you couldn't yeah, kill yeah. sea otters. They found them on San Miguel Island, which is the island that's out by me in California, in Santa Barbara. Right. It's the roughest Channel Island. So very few boats ever went out there because it's the weather's so shitty and it's so rough. I've only been there once in 20 years of going to the islands. Mm. And uh, they found a small population brought that population back, started breeding them, reintroducing them, doing a Head Start program. And only now, some 50 plus years later, yeah. is that balance beginning to come back into a wow. proper play. And now the kelp forest is seeing regrowth and stuff, but it's also dealing with changing sea surface temperatures and Niños. Sure, right. So it's just like us being Westerners hunting out those sea otters 
put this massive, massive pressure to the point that like our iconic golden kelp forests of California, the thing that people travel around the planet to dive at Catalina mm. was almost gone. Yeah. I mean, humans again, just like you got to kill the cutest animal that with just because you need, and it's not that cold in San Francisco. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bullshit, man. Well, a lot of that shit I'm sure was getting shipped back to the East coast, mm -hmm. you know, much like all the beaver over. pelts and all that. Yep. Yeah, interesting. Well, the very so it sounds like the rains was the big, the big sort of X factor here for the parasite. Yeah, yes, it yeah. definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. It does sound like that. That's what moved it. The question is, will those parasites then spread to the rest of the population? If so, will they right. be able to sustain? Now, while we're on the topic, because it is interesting, you guys have seen The Last of Us. You both nodded, right? Mm -hmm. Have you seen it, Kyle? It's very good. You I haven't watch seen it. it. The premise of The Last of Us for anybody that's not watching, <laughs> don't spoil this, anything. I'm not going to is that cordyceps mushrooms, which are the mushrooms that take over, we've talked about them on the pod many times, take over your brain, Kyle, pull it up, cordyceps mushrooms, take over insects' brains and things that control their behavior, basically make a species jump from insects and arachnids to mammals and human beings, right? Okay. That's the premise of The Last of Us. So you get these crazy funguses growing out of insects and stuff, and in The Last right. of Us, you basically see this in humans. Now, the reason I bring this up Genius just plot. two days ago. Yeah. No, 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 no. Just wait. I just want everybody to be very scared. Kyle, Google this. <laughs> Great. There's a new fungus that has just entered into human beings' bloodstreams and systems. Oh, wow. And it's the first time, I believe, that this style of fungus, which is basically a mushroom, has ever been documented in mammals. So it's almost like the exact That's foundation great. for what happened in The Last of Us. I'm sure Kyle will find it. Do you know where article. they found this? Uh, they found it in hospitals, actually. People were oh, coming in feeling sick. I heard about did this. Did you hear about this? Yes, yeah, I did. And it was from this, this fungal infection. Yeah. Uh-oh. That's right. And it's in hospitals, mostly. I think so. Yeah, I think that's what I, I was I reading. haven't heard about it. So does that mean that they're not particularly alarmed? I think so. I mean, I, I think it's not lethal. Here you go. Dangerous fungal infections are on the rise in the U.S. hospitals. Here's what you need to know. Um, Interesting. Don't go to the hospital. That's what you need to know. Apparently not. Fungus called... <laughs> Candida, what is it, Kyle? Auris. Auris. Candida auris. Candida auris. It's causing infections and deaths among hospital patients across the country. Oh, good. It's it's resistant to antifungal drugs. That's right. Of course. All That's of perfect. Just like in The Last of Us. That's good stuff. Um, yeah. I Single wonder, cell fungus that can infect humans and moderately resistant to <laughs> antifungal. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely uh, scary. It's not one of those things you think about often that like a fungus... You know, it's not a bacteria, it's not a virus, it's a fungus that's like invading your bloodstream, like mushroom spores, yep. just inside of your bloodstream, yep. doing whatever kind of damage they're going to do. Yep. Well, the reason Last of Us was was so brilliant in the setup is that they picked the, w the weirdest one, right? And that cordyceps yep. sort of actively takes over the brain right, and right, changes right. the behavior of the right. animal until it's it kills genius. it. A yep. genius uh, like premise, honestly. I didn't know that that's what it's about. Everybody's been talking about it. And now I'm like really, really intrigued because it's an adaptation of a video game. Yeah, really? Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Oh, it's an adaptation. Oh, that video game. Yeah. The last, yeah, the of, last us. of us was the game I was telling you my nephew was playing one year when it had just come out. This is a long time ago. And I just sat and watched him play for like three hours. Oh, it really? Was so it was like watching a movie. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah. I, I th I'm wrong. I was thinking Among Us, that new one that came out. That's not, no. uh, that's I, not this. I don't know what that is. But yeah, anyway, just, uh, you know, just something else to be worried about. Just fungus taking over yeah, our I brains. mean, you know, only if you're at the <laughs> hospital. Don't worry about I it. I so desperately want to talk about Succession, but I just, it's too fucked up to give any spoilers. I haven't started it yet. Uh, really good. You haven't started the series yet? Nope. Oh. I'm okay. way behind. He'll yeah. never I, finish it. I just started White Lotus like four days ago. It's a good one. Very good so far. It's good fun. Yeah. yeah. Getting caught These are the kind of shows videos. you guys got to start it's not, making. It's not like the, it's not like Succession though. <laughs> White Lotus is good. I mean, Succession is like. Really yeah. good? Yeah. Well, what do, what yeah. do you guys uh, way up there? Way up. There. What are you guys working on? Any any of these types of shows these days or loads? Yeah. I think I'm done with TV. I'm so yeah. sick of it. I'm a podcaster I'm now. So sick, sick of it. The, I have a podcast now. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's called The Wild Times. Never heard of it. Um, yeah, huge, it's stupid. huge in South Africa. Apparently, it's getting big in South Africa. There's at <laughs> yeah. least two brosters there. Um, <laughs> it's it's huge there and uh, at the reptile show in Anaheim. That's or right. Wherever it was, was that we went. <laughs> it's one of our top um, performing videos on the Chan. Oh really? Should yeah. we? 
I think Should I know what time it is. Do a battle royale. Do you know what time it is? Definitely. Oh. Absolutely. Nah. Gotta play the jingle. For what? The battle, oh, battle yeah. royale. Yeah. Don't, you do, don't do that on a plane. What do you got? Um, <laughs> all right. This is a fucking great one. All right. I don't know. Is this submitted by a broster? I'm not sure. You are going to build. We're going to do a snake draft. Okay. Peter will tell What's you how that, that works later. Yeah. Uh, you are going to build. And we're not going to do head, body, legs. It's, it's any characteristics from three animals. Okay. I like that. To build your ultimate party animal. Ooh, what I mean by this animal, is like you're going to go to like a super sweet house party. You're going to bounce around. You're going to go to like a bar, then a house party, then <laughs> yeah. an after hours. Yeah, yeah, it's full gamut. Yeah, okay. you're like having a big night. Yep. You've been you haven't you haven't drank in 2 months. You're you're like ready to go. That's okay. Yeah, and right. this is your buddy that you want to party with. That, I love that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Who's leading it off? It's got to be me or Peter based on the... Well, we can't go until Forrest talks into his mic. <laughs> every time. Every time. <laughs> let's kick it, I let's even let, kicked let's it let, away because it was annoying Let's me. let Peter start it here. Peter, let's you let start. Peter start it. So I go with... Uh, what do I got? One here? One, one, one animal? One, snake one. trap? Any, and a characteristic. Don't just say the, don't just say the word animal. Animal. Uh, Moving on. Uh, okay. okay. So I'm, I'm gonna, I, I need a party animal, right? I, I, I don't want to just pick... Like, you know, the standard primates, even though I really do. Uh, but yeah, I'm I was going to say maybe go, maybe we go no primates. I was okay. trying to make it a little more creative than that. Um, no primates. There was a show on Nickelodeon back when I was a kid uh, called Clarissa Explains It All. Mm -hmm. I remember I it. I remember that. That name just really rang a bell. She yeah. had a uh, pet alligator in, in a pool uh, in her room, and it had sunglasses and a hat. Didn't really do uh, much moving around, but it looked... This was a real alligator? Yeah. Looked real in a little baby kiddie pool. Okay. Looked real cool. You could uh, do that in the 90s. Yeah. Yeah. You shouldn't do that now. No. I just, I just, you know, I, I want to, I want to, so is, is it parts? Is it the characteristics of an alligator? It's... Yes, anything you want from the alligator. But I mean, so are we building? Th okay, so it's just anything parts. you want. It I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it the alligator's uh, snapping jaw. Okay, very cool. Moving and, on, because it could like open beer bottles for you, or I'm not even gonna okay answer All right, that Forrest, question. You're up. <laughs> you're up. We'll put you in the middle. No problem. It's here. Um, I, uh, Who do you want to party with? Okay, are we taking all primates off the table? I think we should. All right, that's fair. Um, all right, you know, when I think of a party animal, I think of somebody, you want life of the party. You want to yeah. go with them. They're going to draw attention. They're going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, like I just want a kangaroo. I feel yeah. like oh, if you lead Australian, like you're ready to live life of the party, like yeah. you don't even need it to be. You could just be an Australian and you're like That's welcome good. at the party. So I'm it's just going just to take like the general physique uh, yeah. of a kangaroo. <laughs> Is it going to be one of the sort of jacked ones or more of no, like a... No, more approachable, like just a yeah. mediocre kangaroo. Yeah, like a, like a three and a half, four foot tall yeah. kangaroo. Yeah, the legs, the tail, like the whole kitten caboodle at this point. You know, and once, once he gets drunk, he's going to start... People are going to be like, show me the jump. Exactly. He's got to jump yeah, every... I like that a lot. He's, he's got a catch line, which is like, g'day, mate. Yeah. Take him to the dragon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, so I'm going to go out partying. I need an animal that really wants to party and and have a lot of drinks certainly because that's going to be part of it we don't party with with drugs here at the wild times right we we party with fat tire uh, many fat tire. uh so i'm gonna go with um the the love of alcohol of <laughs> of an african elephant an Smart. african elephant <laughs> yeah um yeah it's gonna take a lot of booze or fun yeah that is see fun. how many shots it can that do is, oh boy but I'm not taking the body of it. Right, I'm just right. taking its love of booze, as sure. we know they, sure. they're they prone yep. to get drunk off rotted fruit yep. or a fermented fruit, I should yep. say. Yep, yep. Marula fruit, right? Is Marula the big fruit. One? Yep. Very good. Very good. Um, okay. They love the booze. So that's my one. I'm up for a second You pick. are. Now, it's a booze-loving animal, and I want it to be... It's going gonna, it's gonna to be there for the party, but I want it to be very, like, cuddly in, in an unexpected way. Okay. So I'm going to go with the body and physique of a massive Kodiak brown bear. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Because I, what would be more fun than partying with, you know, it's standing on its hind legs. Yeah. 10 feet tall. Sure. Huge claws, but it's not going to use them. Yeah, it's the lovable loaf. Okay. I yep. like yep. that. And it's, it's getting hammed. Like 
So you're taking this a very different direction for me and I'll tell you why. So I already have just this general physique of a kangaroo, <laughs> but I'm gonna add to that the fully cracked out nature. Like I'm thinking hard party, like like lives in Vegas kind of guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like the fully spastic cracked out nature of a brown lemur. Okay. Okay, so now it, we're, we're no, is built. That, is that a primate? It, <sighs> I'll it's give a it lemur. To you. Okay, let's but give it to I figure that doesn't count. Like that, I, that's why I asked. Yeah, multiple I think times, we can give you that. Like, just Kyle, pull up any any video of a brown lemur. Like, you remember when we went to that little island? Oh, yeah. They're just super spastic and like very tweaky. Like, you're fairly certain they're on like a lot of coke all the yeah, time. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna give my kangaroo just this guy's head, but also general <laughs> demeanor and spasticness. Like, look at him. Like, tell me that he's not just a little bit tweaky. It's so you kind of want your party animal to be like the the guy who's like by the third venue, everyone's like, he's been really fun, but we're kind of ready for him to go. Yeah, but he, until until that tipping point, he's yeah. life of the party. Everybody likes him. Girls are coming over to talk to him. He's, okay. he's bouncing off the walls. It's a tweaky, he's but sourcing things that you didn't know were even going to be at this I party. Understand. You know the guy I'm talking about. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I get it. I get it. All right, Peter, you're up for my two. Turn? Yeah, round uh, it out. So um, I just want to clarify my first pick. The alligator, uh, that's the quality of being chill and cool with the sunglasses. and hasses. Oh, that's fair. Uh, I'm glad you actually. Sunglasses and hats. Sun, sun colossus? It's just cool. <laughs> He's know. chill. He likes to know. He likes to just kind of sunbathe and, and, and be cool. Okay. Uh, opposite of party. Uh, is this more of like a meth lemur? Is this more of like opposite of your meth lemur? No, there's alcohol, there's weed. I mean, he's got the jaw so he can like consume a beer bong and a lot of uh, booze at mm -hmm. once. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay, got it. Um, well, I mean, what do I got? Two here? God, this is hard. I, I don't even know, but I'm going to go with, uh, I'm just going to go with the like pedability of a tiger. Right, so it's very pettable. It's very soft. It's beautifully I'd like to uh, pet one. Yeah. beautiful pattern on it, and it's chill. So it's a very chill with sunglasses and hat tiger, and people can just like come over. It'll be smoking a joint or whatever. Right, It'll because, be, because um, you picked an alligator, which they're known for being very chill. <laughs> yeah, it's chill. Uh, well, I told you this is a specific alligator from, from Clarissa. Explains it all. What is from it? I'm curious what this animal looks like that you're yeah, just a standard about. alligator with a hat and sunglasses. You know, the kind you of oh, so it's got the body and face of an alligator as well as it's their chill demeanor. No, this is. I mean, for. I thought we were just doing qualities. I don't know. We needed anything physical. Well, it's got to look like something. Well, it's got to. It can't just be air. Oh, it's not air. Well, it's gonna look like me. Oh boy. We said no primates. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and finally, <laughs> you know, just god, the life of the party, man. What what happens at, at a party? Let's like an orgy, right? Herpes. I'm going herpes. I knew it. it Spreads happened. around it's been so, long. so long. It's been a long yeah. time and and herpes, I mean, when herpes long. is around, you know that a good time has been had. <laughs> That's, I can't argue with your logic. Yeah, I, you. I was basically about to say the same thing. All right. So it's going to basically be in a Petri dish? So sorry, I just want to, I just want to, the pedability <laughs> of a tiger? Is that, was that the word you used? The pedability, yeah. yeah. So you've just got a regular gator with well, sunglasses me. and a hat. No, no, just the demeanor of the gator. Like, it's like the, the demeanor of a sunglasses chill, and a hat. It's a very okay. chilled out alligator. Right, so it chilled out. looks like a tiger. Well, no, it looks then, like me. No, it looks, it looks like sorry, herpes, I thought. No, 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 it looks like me. It looks like him. It's, it's just it got the, the, the virility. The, the, Vira virality. The virality. Yeah. It has herpes. a virus. So it's very infectious. Yeah, like, like a viral video. Infectious. Like, you know, good time. I like still a don't know what it looks like, to be honest. Apparently. It looks like me. How's the tiger come into play? Just It's got my, like, I have the tiger fur. And okay. the stripes. Good luck creating that, whoever is building that one up. Um, Wait, so thanks. you're, so you, yeah. Peter, are partying along with this animal that looks exactly like you, except it has fur and herpes and is wearing well, sunglasses. No, no. Again, I, it has the, it has the, uh, the aura of herpes. It doesn't have herpes. It's <laughs> like, I, like I said, when herpes is around, the you know, a good time has been the had. The idea of herpes is, is there. Yeah, yeah. Like whatever had okay. transpired before up. the herpes. Yeah. Hey, do you want? Dude, invite Steve to the party. He's got herpes. It's the most fun. <laughs> you want it's him true. there, dude. Like, I mean, people right. with herpes, so they're careful. I've got this sort of methed out kangaroo with a brown lemur head. And, you know, I think he's pretty close to being the perfect physical specimen, except mm -hmm. because he's a bit of a tweaker, he's going to Irish at any time. Yeah. So, so I'm going to give him the loyalty of a, of a golden retriever. Got it. He won't leave me hanging. He's going to be there for what me. What does he look like again? 
kangaroo. Kangaroo with a lemur head. So, <laughs> kangaroo with a lemur head. Okay. Yeah. That's smart because uh, he, oh, is it? the animal that you had built up to that point was going to bail as soon as the promise of a good time somewhere else came uh, without up. Without a doubt. But yeah. I hate that. If you go to a party, especially if you don't know anybody else and then your oh, buddy Irishes, it's that's the worst. Nightmare. Yeah. And this guy is the kind of guy, he knows where the party is. He knows everybody. I don't know anybody there. Yeah. But I, if he's got the loyalty of a golden retriever. Like, we're hanging out all night. He can go be a spaz head. I know he's coming back. Like, it yeah. adds up. Yep. No, that's smart. Yeah, it really adds up. Um, I okay, had that happen. Okay, gator. Yeah. I'm just, I, I, what, why are you, I, I'm just, yeah. I thought you were just saying it's Some, sarcastic. Somehow Peter no, no, will end up winning 100%. this. He will. He always does. It makes no sense. Yeah. Wait, what? Nothing. Um, oh, yeah. I've already won. All right. So nothing's better at the end of a big party. I'll tell you what, nothing's worse at the end of a big party night than when you're like, you know, you're going to pass out in an hour and you're like, man, if we just like stop by the pizza place and just brought home like two oily ass slices and then like, the people you're with are like, no, let's just go home. You're like, fuck you. Yeah, it's like, yeah, you just I'll ruined you my night. I'm going to have to make a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is you a could nightmare. be having melted cheese. Are you kidding yeah. me? So, I can't wait to hear what you got to say here. So this I want to give, my, so I've got a full bear Everything about it looks like a brown bear from Alaska. It's got the booze-loving nature <laughs> of African elephants. Yep. And I want to give it the appetite and love of food of a hippo. Wow. As we learned, they, wow. they can poop up to 400 pounds a day. Yeah. You, yeah. Don't, you don't poop 400 pounds by just eating a little bit. No, you got to you gotta really want to eat. You're eating at all yeah. times. This right? is a buffet guy. Yeah. Very yeah. hungry, very thirsty for booze. Yeah. And then just like a really fun, like everyone's going to want a picture with him. He's a big right. social guy. Like this yeah. is like, let's all go out to eat. Let's all go out to drink. He's an Epicurean. Right. He, he yeah. wants to just shove things in his mouth Nobody at all times. We're just like me. Yep. Also, uh, I mean, seeing as how he eats 400 pounds of food a day, it's got to go somewhere, right? What do hippos do? They spin their tail and shit all over the room. Good call, Pat. But I didn't give him that characteristic. Thought, what's he going to do? Where's that food going to go? You can't not he's, give him the characteristic. He's going to go he use with, the he toilet. Might, he might blow up a couple pounds? bathrooms. He yeah. might blow up a couple bathrooms. He's I feel like the bar tail. owners will be like, it's fine that he ruined all the toilets. <laughs> because <laughs> the toilets, we just the had a bathroom. fully trained booze bear. Yeah, he, I just spent $80,000 on alcohol to get drunk to <laughs> <laughs> literally <laughs> ate all of the bottles of booze. <laughs> Yeah, and the glass. <laughs> it's everywhere. All right, I like that. I like okay. that a lot. Yeah, it was, I'll, give it, I'll give you it. It's good. Peter won. I like... Won. I like uh, Peter yeah, is partying alongside himself. The rally of herpes virus, it was like, well, there. everybody likes to vote for that because it's very dumb. Makes, um, makes no, no, that's not sense. true. I explained my reasoning. It's because, once again, a good time has been had. Anybody who has herpes is carefree. And, uh, this is wild. Let us let us know in the comments who uh, who whose animal you want to party with. Yeah, you know? that's that's a real. Do you want to party with Retep? Pick my animal with Gator, but with the yeah, personality whatever. of I'm a Gator. I'm moving on from this. It's an ass. Um, <laughs> right. Horse is so, so angry. I well, <laughs> you keep saying herpes. Um, I went I went to the beach with my son the other day, about three day four days ago. It's good activity. Saw something I haven't seen on California shores for a while. No, this wasn't clean sand. Starfish. <laughs> oh, this wasn't the little virus eggs that we were talking about or okay, parasite good, eggs. Good, good. Um, it was by the wind sailors. You know what that is? No. no. They're very cool. Now, Kyle will pull up a picture here. Um, just type, just pull up what, a single what, picture, Kyle, of a what, by the wind sailor. What in the f <laughs> So it's a very cool type of jellyfish that has a sail on its head. And it's this little blue stingerless oh, jelly. That. That has a sail on its head and it uses the wind, hence the name by the wind sailor. So it just cruises along the surface. Yeah. Sits on the surface. And but here's the thing: when they wash up, they wash up in the millions. Oh. So wow. we were walking oh, down. Oh, because the, the wind beach, pushes all of them. All of them together. Interesting. Um, oh, wow. And so yeah, we were walking down the beach and I saw two or three, and then I looked up ahead, sort of around this point by our house, and the beach was blue. With these no wow. sailors. Yeah. So I don't know, Kyle, if you can find like, oh, a wow, map that's so picture cool. of them. But yeah, that's how they work. So they just, and you know, obviously the wind just pushes them around. Not that. That's a man of war. Um, but. And they're stingerless? How do they defend themselves? Well, that's a good question. I don't know if they're stingerless, but they certainly can't sting a person because my kid and I were throwing dead ones at each other. So. <laughs> Got it. Um, 
Yeah, but uh, cool looking. pretty cool to see. And uh, the last time I'd seen him was in Cayucas, California, over 15 years ago. So, um, w- t- was there some like, like weather event that caused this? I don't know, to be honest. Um, it's been a very long time. But yeah, look at like, go back real quick, Kyle. Look at some of those pictures. Like, yeah, there you go. You know, they, they oh wash gosh. up in mass where you can have, that's sort of what it looked like where we were. We can have thousands of them. Are those guys all dead? Yeah. So once they wash up on shore, they're done. Okay. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. My son thought they were really neat. He, uh, he was running around shirtless as he usually does. Sure. And uh, it was the first time I've seen a three-year-old make a jellyfish into nipple pasties. Nice. Yeah, he put two on his nipples and thought it was very funny. <laughs> it is pretty funny. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Kyle <laughs> pulled up a accidentally pulled up a Portuguese man of war there. Have you ever got any either of you gotten tagged by one of those? I have no. when I was a kid. It was awful. Yeah, you Tell never got hit by one? No. I just I I was at the beat we did like a big family trip when I was like ten and uh my aunt got hit by one uh on Gulf Shores, Alabama. Yeah. And she was reacting as if she had been like Shot by a twenty-two, excruciating. <laughs> it's that bad. Excruciating. Wow. wow, they're really common too. Right? Very, yeah. And I think there's different levels because I know. Well, look at that by the wind sailor picture. Um, I know that. Uh, literally, just now when we were in Australia filming a few weeks ago, there was like a warning put out for the area because some girl had swum into one and was in the hospital, like not oh getting released. Really? Yeah, wow. it was bad. And when I got stung, I was also probably about 10 or 12 years old and I got stung on the leg and I just remember, you know, basically my only memory was my mom pulled me out of the ocean and I was falling yeah, yeah. and it was on my leg and they like scraped it off with a stick and then a few hours later I was okay. Don't they say, yeah. does pee help or is that, that's, I know stingray. I don't know if that's a thing or not. No, okay. no, pee is for jellyfish. I, okay. I think, well, the idea is like the urea and the warmth neutralizes it a little bit, but it's kind of bullshit. I think people just want to pee on their, each other. <laughs> I think it might just be an excuse for, like, surfers to, like, just pull their dick out. Mm. Anything. That adds up to you pull know what the I mean? dick out if you're wow, a surfer. Wow, this one had a lot of seeds. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, no, they're, uh, they're, pretty, they're pretty terrible. They're not something, and, you know, they have, like, a neurological sting. It, like, goes into your pain receptors. Oh, God. It's, it's dude, built to this article is talking most. about the El Nino in 2014. Mm-hmm. I think it's, that's the last time I saw them. It says billions of them of uh, by the wind sailors washed ashore um, from California all the way up to Washington. Billions. Wow. That That's would be crazy. it. The last time I saw them was about 2014, 2015. Jesus. In Cayucas, yeah. It's just, it's kind of crazy to think that, you know, billions, of, how, how, how long are they alive until they get to like the size of the ones that you saw? The by the wind sailors? Yeah, the wind sailors, sorry. Oh, I don't really know. I mean, like their lifespan? I don't well, know. Well, I mean, like, yeah, I was just wondering because... It's there's so many they must reproduce like very quickly. I think so. Yeah, and like you know they're in mass. And what's interesting to think is like way offshore somewhere there's a colony of a billion of right, them like exactly. sitting together on the sea surface. Um, yeah, that's so wild. yeah. I don't know. I've seen them a couple times. It was cool to see them again. I'm not sure why they're back in California now. Obviously, something to do with the winds and the weather. But mm-hmm, sure. we're in for a crazy year. It's like I said. I on know, the, dude. The bonus pod. It's gonna be really weird. Yeah. With the amount of rain, just how strange the weather's been it's going to be super a very bloom, strange year. tons of water where we haven't had water in over a decade yeah, yeah. i mean wildlife everywhere i've shown you guys those pictures of the snakes we caught the other day i mean it's just it's just it's going to be a great summer it's going to be so full of life out here great summer for animal enthusiasts the weather is out of whack though in the on the planet yeah everywhere yeah. everywhere there's a lot nowhere of that's silly not. shit going on it's a lot crazy of silly shit yeah climate change Stay tuned for more on climate change. No, no, I hate that. Miserable. Um, <laughs> what else do I have coming up? I uh, I'm going to New York, uh, so I go straight. How's this for a pain in the ass? Oh, I, go straight, I know what you're, you're meeting with the rats are. Well, yeah, yeah, we're <laughs> okay. we're taking on the the rat problem finally. Yeah. They okay. they watch the pod and they're like, why didn't we think of that? Cats, <laughs> yeah, cats. Yeah. cats. Um, but how's this for a pain in the ass? I'm going from here to New, to Hawaii for a two day tropical shoot directly to New York for a black tie event. How fun is Sounds that to awful. pack for? From Hawaii? From that's Hawaii. Like, oh. That's like what? That's, that's, that's like a 12-hour flight. Trip. Yeah, 12 yeah. hours of traveling. Yeah. Yikes. It's Hawaii brutal. to New York is awful. awful. Is, is it? You, yeah. Is, is, it, is there a layover? Is it, it's got to yeah, be a layover. Yeah, in Phoenix, I think. Um, it's that's, miserable. That's a poop stink. But it's awful. Family yeah. going? 
Huh? Family going or just you? No. What is this me. black tie event? Why, who invited you to a f- in New York, Manhattan? Black tie. Why are you event? upset by this? <laughs> Who's inviting you to a black tie event? Uh, I recently uh, became a fellow of the Explorers Club. So the ah, Explorers okay. Club in New York, which is like an old stuffy white guy adventure yeah, club. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's not just white guys anymore, but I think that's South Park does a hilarious thing. Yeah. On it. That's where I get that from. Um, the, they offered me a fellowship or invited me to be a fellow, of the Explorers Club, a lifetime fellowship, which was pretty cool. Yeah. I accepted. And then they have this thing called the ECAD, which is the Explorers Club annual dinner, which Got is it. a black tie event where like Elon Musk goes and blah, 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 mm. and all these people. And so I was invited. And so I it's a big this. deal to be part of the Explorers Club. It's yeah. a very, uh, it's, you know, a lot of archaeologists. Yeah. Astronauts, basically yeah. all the astronauts, all the big adventure people are in the Explorers Club. Yeah. So. They, don't, wow. they don't just take any uh, Tom, Dick and Harry. You're going to be hobnobbing with like uh, the likes of Elon Musk and all the. I think so. I think he'll <laughs> be there. I don't really know. I mean. Uh, is yeah. this part of their new uh, social media influencer uh, experience? Of course. program. No, okay. I, I don't know about that. But um, no, basically the way they're I, so I'm in the Explorers Club now, but I'm sitting at the table with Colossal because Colossal has a table Got there. It. As, Got it. You know, they're pioneers of exploring de-extinction. So, sure. yeah. Um, yeah, I'll be at the uh, at the Colossal table, but that'll be cool. I, uh, yeah, I had to fun. rent a tuxedo because <laughs> I looked at my I I managed to barely squeeze into my high school prom tuxedo, which when I put it on and looked in the mirror, I was like, this is not it. No, this is not it. Is that, is that just because it was too tight or because it was like so out of style? Dude, the lapels like this big. (laughs) I mean, it was snug. Don't get me wrong. It was fucking snug. But like the difference is I was basically the same height and everything in high school. I was just much more muscular and skinnier. So it still fits just in the wrong way. Oh yeah. Yeah. Bad fit will destroy But yeah, the lapels like this wide and the pants are like like this why it's just very outdated. And when you get in when you're in an ill-fitting tux, which I've ended up in multiple wedding parties yeah. where like it's just set, you go to the men's warehouse right. or whatever cuz right. they want to make it easy for right. everybody and you just you put it on and it fits like shit. You just feel like an idiot. And like uh, the pants are right. so uncomfortable. You feel like an, an door-to-door encyclopedia salesman. Awful. Yeah, it's no Awful. good. Yeah, you got to yeah. get a nice nice yeah. fitting suit. No, got myself a nice one and arrived, rented it from an online thing. It arrived yesterday. Nice. That's pretty good. You can get a little good. spray tan. No, well, I'm going to Hawaii. I don't need a spray tan. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. He's already red. <laughs> I'm bright red nice. in this fucking <laughs> Yeah, true. Um, well, sweet. Pod 116. It's 116. been a lot of fun. It's in the can. In the can. We got Excited it. to drink more of these fat tires? Yeah. yeah oh, I got third. Third. Peter, how many have you had? I don't know. I, I, I will say uh, that Battle Royale was embarrassing. Um, <laughs> Still thinking For about you two. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But I have had a, quite a few fat tires. I need to eat because yeah, I, I will, like, I, I'm just, I don't know what's happening. You mentioned anymore. tacos when I walked in the door this yeah. morning. Literally, I walked in, I was like, hi, Peter. You're like, tacos. Like, hmm, well, yeah, that's not what happened at all, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm into tacos. Let's do that. Peter, let's, do the thing. Let's the wrap thing. it up. Yeah. Go to uh, wildtimes.club forward slash info for all the links to all the places you can watch the pod. And you know, we do. Six podcasts a month. That's six podcasts a month that we do. <laughs> Let's do it again. <laughs> Let's start over. Yeah, I don't know. All right, all right, do you all want right. someone else to do it? No, no. Okay. I, I'll Are do you it. too drunk to handle this? No, I'll do it. I'll do it. Just okay. Don't leave that. No out. edit. Leave it in. Just do it again. Right. Just fix it. Yeah, it's been fun, gentlemen. Thank uh, you. Wildtimes.club forward slash info to get access to all of the podcasts that we do, all the audio, all the video. And you know what? Check out the Patreon or the Spotify subscription where we do four extra podcasts a month. So one a week. We put a lot of time and work into it. And, uh, you know, it's tough hanging out with these guys. It it's, really it's is. It's the best part of your life. They rag on me and then I get <laughs> drunk. And now uh, here we are. Wildtimes.club forward slash info. Love you. If you made it all the way through that, comment Peter's herps. Peter's <laughs> herps. That's it. That sounds good. I just want to see how many people made it through the rant. Yeah. Yep. So, herps. Yep. Herps. H-E-R-P-E-S or just S? Well, I would say if it's herps, you're H-E-R-P-S. Yeah. Herps. Yeah. Herps. H-E-R-P-S. Peter's herps. Herps. Yeah. Peter's like, like herps. Animal people will think he's talking reptiles. Everybody else will know it's about his herpes problem. Herpetologist. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. No problems here. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Early bird gets the worm. <laughs> 